Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes and welcome to another video in our series on classic sax riffs and solos. Today we look at perhaps the song that started it all. Bill Haley's famous Rock Around the Clock, recorded in the 1950s and widely regarded as the very first rock hit recording in the history of the genre. Great news for us as saxophonists, the original recording featured a tenor saxophone playing in unison with a guitar, playing backing riffs throughout the vocal section, and also a short 12-bar sax solo in combination with the guitar in the middle of the song. Today we're just going to focus on the backing riffs. That's what the sax player plays behind Bill Haley's vocals. It's a 12-bar blues in A concert. That's B for the B-flat saxophones and F-sharp for the E-flat saxophones. The backing riff only has two notes in it. On the tenor sax, those notes are B and C sharp. That's it. Now, I'll put the music score up on the screen for you, and I've got it there now, and you'll notice that it's a sequence, a very repetitive sequence, of notes that fall on an upbeat, followed by a downbeat, followed by a downbeat, followed by an upbeat. So it's syncopation. The very first bar we have to play has a note on the upbeat of one and the downbeat of three. They are both quavers, they are half-beat notes. So if we think that through, the upbeat of one, one and, the downbeat of three, one and two and three, a one, two, three, four, one, bup, bup, there's our first bar. Now you've got to remember that when Rudy Pompilli, who's the sax player that did this original recording, recorded this, there's no sheet music. No one wrote out the notes. They were just jamming. It's a 12-bar blues. Later on, someone, when they wanted to publish the music, had to work out what that timing was. So it's important to listen to the original recording and play in the spirit of that original recording, rather than mathematically reading your music 100% correctly, but sounding really lame, like a lame duck. You don't want that. You want to have excitement in your saxophone playing. Now, the second bar has a note on the downbeat of one and the upbeat of two. So one and two and three and four and bup, bup, okay? One and two and, one and two and. Three, four, bup, bup. If we put those two together, a one, two, three, four, bup, 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 bup. Very easy to play. A little bit hard mathematically to work out and to count it. So I'm now going to play that backing riff with a band just playing with a 12 bar blues. Following that, I'll leave the backing track for you. It's got a six click count in. And you can try and play the music without me, along with the backing band. I hope you enjoyed one of the all-time famous songs in the history of rock and roll. And the tenor saxophone was there right from the beginning. Bye for now.